Hello everyone, thank you for joining me today for today's episode of Art Talk. I'm your host, Darkmoon Doll, and today I want to talk to you about uh, some of the art that I have on my shop and some of the art I'm currently working on right now. I have an Etsy shop. It's called www.darkmoondoll.etsy.com and it'll also be in the comment, I mean, underneath the video below too. Um, the first thing I want to show you, at first I wanted to call it a wand, but I think I want to call it a walk, uh, a uh, talking stick. Now these, uh, I first experienced a talking stick when I went to a kind woman's house, very good friend now, and that's women sat in a circle and we held a, <coughs> we held a stick and each time you're the one that holds the stick you get to talk about whatever it is that's going on in your mind or whatever and I think it's very therapeutic that way everybody gets heard <laughs> speaking of being heard airplane going by so anyway this is the talking one of the talking sticks I have a bunch that I've made but this is just one of the ones that I've made it has a uh, quartz crystal on it on the end uh, it was fashioned from a broken uh, <laughs> from a broken drumstick from one of the members of my band. Um, first what I did was I uh, <clears throat> I painted the uh, the stick with uh, nail enamels, metallic nail enamels, let it dry. Then I applied uh, probably like four coats of Mod Podge and let it dry it for several uh, several weeks actually. It took a while to dry and then what I did next was I, uh, I glued on rhinestones, flower rhinestones on here, on the sides here, from top to bottom. <clears throat> and then after I glued the rhinestones on, I put a small, like, thin coating of uh, Mod Podge on top of the rhinestones so that they're set in so they won't come off easily. <clears throat> yeah. I was going to call it a magic wand, but I'm calling it a talking stick. If you purchase it on my shop, you can you can use it as a wand. So, but yeah, it takes a it took me a while to uh, get it together. So, and I made a case to go with it too. It's a cloth hand sewn, hand embroidered case to go with it. Let's see here, my own beads on here. So there's moons and stars on the case. So you want to put, you can put your your wand or talking stick in here. Keep it safe. It just goes in here like that. And it's like a little hood that goes on top of it. Like that. Like so. So yeah, that's, I'm putting this on the shop today. Here's items that are already on my shop. These are drawings and these are what I call stream of consciousness drawings. Drawings that I, whoops, drawings that I do when uh, I just feel inspired to. I sit down and start drawing. They're unplanned drawings, so I never know what's going to happen. This one right here is on my shop. <clears throat> I used colored pencils. I used, um, yeah, pens, colored pencils. And that's it. It's just pens and colored pencils. I found these really cool uh, colored pens that I experimented with because I love to uh, I love to work with pens with drawing. I don't always like to use pencils. Like I'll lay down the sometimes I'll lay down the foundation of the drawing using just regular black pen. But it, I was fortunate to find some colored pens, so that was cool. Um, this one I consider to be uh, like a mouse, <laughs> a mouse goddess, like, almost if you think of like the cat people from uh, <laughs> an episode of Star Trek, <laughs> the animated series. <laughs> but yeah, this one's on my shop right now. You can get a frame for it. Um, I don't sell them with frames. They. Uh, they come in a, uh, when you receive it, it'll come in a plastic uh, envelope, kind of like what you get with comic books, just to preserve it. And then you can pick out what kind of, um, 
You can pick out what kind of frame you want. <clears throat> and then the next uh, piece is more of a mixed media piece. And this is it right here. First it started off as a drawing, and then um, I used acrylic paints to add more definition. And then I still felt like there it needed more. So then I, um, I looked at it and just kind of kept it around. And then I decided to go over it with a uh, pen. So there's detail of a uh, pen, you see all of that in there the patterning on the face and everything, that's that's just pen overlaid over um, acrylic paint. So, And then this little bit of colored pencil I put in through here after the uh, acrylic paint's dried. After this, um, after I finished this whole design, I put a coating of Mod Podge on there just to seal the design on there. <clears throat> it's got a little bit of a gloss, a shine. And this too, you can just find a uh, spot nine by five, and you could find a um, you could find a frame for it anywhere. You can go to thrift stores, find frames anywhere for cheap. So. Yeah, this is on my shop right now. Like I said, <laughs> is it plain? Uh, this drawing, like all the other drawings that I do, are uh, what are called stream of consciousness drawings, where I sit down and I start drawing. I like grab a pen or whatever and just start drawing. <clears throat> and then once I'm finished, I have this or whatever. It's um, it's very meditative. It's very uh, calming, very relaxing, and yeah. Destructive way of, uh, I don't know, like releasing tension. So, yeah. And I want to show you one thing that's on my shop. This is a bottle doll. So. Oh. Yeah. And, yeah. So I named her the fortune teller, horned goddess. <laughs> She's definitely mixed media. Her body is made. Her body is made out of a glass bottle, formed from a glass bottle. The horns are her head. Her head, her uh, arms, her chest area is made from uh, polymer clay, which I glued onto the bottle. Her purse is a hand sewn cloth purse I, that I created using from uh, recycled fabrics. And all of these stones on here were uh, these glass stones I found from Glass Beach here that I applied on here with Mod Podge. The bottom of her dress is made from um, recycled uh, trim from an old Victorian style dress. Yeah. And uh, <clears throat> I mud patched the whole thing to seal it in. So it's a sculpture, more of a sculpture than a, a doll. I don't feel like any of the dolls I make are play for play. They're works of art. So, yeah. That's just a few of the things that I've, that I've finished and are on my shop. Um, I have some things that I am working on to put on my shop. Um, <clears throat> and I can show you one thing. And... This is one thing that I have almost finished that I'm going to put on my shop. And yeah, see that? Get it closer. It's another bottle doll. The head is made from stone. The crown here is made from uh, a found, found jewelry piece. The hair is yarn. And the bottle was, was painted with... Uh, nail enamels, metallic nail enamels, <clears throat> sharpie, acrylic paints, and a gloss jet with Mod Podge to seal in the color. 
It was also paper mache before uh, I put any kind of paint on it. Here's the bottom of it here. But yeah, I just took a glass bottle and turned it into a doll. <laughs> Bring it closer. There. <laughs> so thank you for joining me today for Art Talk. Um, I hope you feel inspired to create your own art as well. Everybody has creativity. Um, <clears throat> yeah, it's easy to just get out there and do something. If you like something, try it. That's how I did it. <laughs> Alrighty, guys, uh, next week, um, what am I going to do? I'll probably share with you uh, my paintings and what I've been doing with that. Um, it's kind of come to a halt because I'm completely out of paint. So if you're interested in funding me for any projects, painting projects or whatever, feel free to. I have the funding uh, button on my YouTube now <coughs> to help make that a reality because I have a lot of paintings that are unfinished. They're really good paintings and the only thing that's left is there's no paint. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, please do check out my, web, my, uh, my Etsy shop. It's www.darkmoondoll.etsy.com. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you for liking. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for re leaving comments on my page. I really appreciate it. Um, I really value what you all have to say because you're the ones watching. And, uh, yeah, thank you for sharing this with all your friends as well, too, because I know somebody else out there can... Uh, find this helpful. Alrighty guys, till then, peace.